So let's take a look at the new Warhammer 40k Versus box, where it seems that it's Dark Angels led by Azrael duking it out with the minions of Bashtor. Hello and welcome back to Warspets Tactics, where this morning we've been talking about the Las Vegas Open previews, and in this video I thought we'd cover the other big 40k box set, the Wrath of the Soul Forge King. It looks like this is going to be the first box where you can pick up Mr. Vashtor, the Chaos Demigod of the Forges, and it looks like he's going to be leading a very flesh metal Chaos Space Marine force against the forces of the Dark Angels. Let's talk through the contents of the box and likely pricing, a little of the lore details behind the conflict, and what it means for the Vashtor and the Dark Angels release. So first up, here we have the contents of the Wrath of the Soul Forge King box, the Soul Forge King referring to Vashtor, just being another title that he has alongside Archifane apparently. It's one of Games Workshop's big versus box offerings, having two different factions fighting it out, and though they haven't given us a proper release date for this yet, it's very likely to be early spring. Games Workshop have said that it's going to be dropping at around about the same time as that Vashtor Arcs of Omen book, and on their timeline that they had before they said that that was going to be around about springtime. My guess would be that this will turn up around about late March or early April. In the box set, on the Chaos side, there's Vashtor Archipane himself, the great big demon prince type thing of the Soul Forges, though he's not aligned with any of the one Chaos gods, he's his own thing representing the scientists, inventors, and supplies the other gods with weapons. Alongside him, there's that sprue with the Venom Crawler and the two obliterators on it that was previously in the Start Collecting Chaos Space Marines box set. I feel like that one's really quite a nice one to have in here. It's a really quite good value kit from Games Workshop at the moment at £42.50. It's not often that they sell a fairly decent size vehicle and an 100 point unit both in the same box for that price. You can't usually get it discounted as well, seeing as it's usually only available direct. So I feel like that's really quite a big win on the Chaos front, and of course Obliterators and the Venom Crawler seem to be the things that are most in line with Vashtor's entire aesthetic, basically being the Chaos God of Demon Engines and Arcane Technology. There's also 10 Chaos Cultists in there, they look like they're the more recent ones, the ones that dropped around the Chaos Codex time that came out last year. Squaring off against them, there'll be the new Primaris Azrael, 10 Intercessors and the Deathwing Terminator Squad, Azrael having his new sculpt, the Intercessors being maybe a bit filler and troops, and the Deathwing Terminator squad being kind of interesting as they're a firstborn kit inside a Games Workshop value set, something that doesn't happen all that often. Seems like a fairly fitting force though, and if Dark Angels aren't getting a full faction Primaris type release at least just yet, then the Deathwing Terminators actually do help it feel like a bit more of a Dark Angels box, as opposed to just generic Primaris plus Azrael. When you put it together though, I strongly suspect that this box is going to be really quite an expensive one by normal Games Workshop standards. We know the prices for a bunch of the other things in the box. My guess would be that Primaris Azrael is probably going to be around about £30, the same as High Marshal Hellbrecht, and I'd be kind of surprised if Vashtor was any less than £47.50. That's the price of the new Chaos Demon Prince, and it's certainly possible that he could be priced a good bit more than that. Games Workshop might choose to charge him a similar sort of amount to, say, Bellacor. I feel like even on a fairly conservative estimate, I'd expect Games Workshop to charge something like £220, €290, Euros, or around $365 individually for these kits, which even when you take into account the normal discount of these sort of things, is still going to wind up to be quite an expensive box. Often Games Workshop gives a slight bit more discount for these versus sets compared with their battle forces. I believe that the previous two were somewhere around the 35-40% to mark compared with what they'd sell things for separately. But even then it means that we'll be looking at something like £140, €185 Euros, or $235, somewhere around that mark. That's my prediction anyway. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Hopefully it might be a bit less than that, but knowing Games Workshop it could certainly be more. They had that Chaos Knight launch box set not so very long ago, and that was all the way up at 160 so it's not like they don't have form at these high price box sets. Before we talk about Vashtor and the Dark Angels specifically, we've also got a bit of lore of the conflicts. Apparently this ties in with Book 3 of the Arcs of Omen. Apparently the Angron book is launching very, very soon. It might be going up for pre-order this weekend from the way that they were talking about it. The story that the box set's meant to tie in with is an assault on the Dark Angels' fortress monastery of the Rock. A big spaceborne one that can be deployed to theatres of conflicts if needed, made out of a shard of old Caliban. It seems that the motivations of Chaos are apparently going to be the same as they were in the previous book. The Chaos need to storm the rock to find an artifact of some sort. I wouldn't be too surprised if it was, say, the last fragment of Vashtor's key, the thing that he needs to build his super weapon out of. 
Could be something to the next stage though, maybe something that they need to actually build the super weapon rather than just the designs for it. In any case, it looks like the minions of Vashtor, mainly the Black Legion, are leading a full-scale assault on the rock. Azrael, the Primaris and the Deathwing are all stepping up in the defence, and just from the rumours of the Lion model that are coming back, it does sound like this whole narrative is all set to bring back a new Primarch. The Lion is known to be sleeping on the rock, and I guess the storyline would be that you either invade the rock and wake him up, or perhaps even more likely, they invade the rock, take what they need, and during the whole conflict, they find a secret chamber where the lion just happens to be gone from. That might be a bit more mysterious than Dark Angels, plus would tie in with that prophecy where you find nothing in all the circles from the Abaddon book. In any case, all lore and teasers of the lion aside, let's get back to the actual models, and I feel like Vashtor himself is definitely going to be the primary draw to the box, a lot of Chaos players seem keen to pick him up, the model's nice and creepy, and he's got a pretty high ranking place in the lore as well, being a new Chaos demigod, something that doesn't come along all the time. The preview shots do show that he's really quite a big model, they say that he's rivaling Belakor for size, though he's maybe a bit more spindly. He certainly towers over Azrael and the other Space Marines. I'd guess that the box set might have a bit of a pamphlet in it where you have some basic rules for him, I don't know whether the full data sheet is just going to be in that box set though or whether or not they might have his imprint in the Vashtor Arcs of Omen book. I feel like that certainly would have been the way that they did things in the past, but they did say they were going to try and keep match play rules out of that series, so who knows. I'll certainly be really interested to talk about his datasheet when we get it though, going to be an interesting one to review. In this preview, they did drop us one rules hint for him, they said that he sits happily with any Chaos Space Marine force, so at least sounds like he's not just locked to Black Legion or anything like that, not that I necessarily would have expected him to be. I would hope that he's not locked just to core Chaos Space Marines though, I know his aesthetic certainly goes with, it, with things like Warp Smiths, Obliterators, and the various Dinobot Demon Engines, and perhaps even more so with things like the Blackstone Fortress Negavolt Cultists. I'd hope that Chaos Knights and Chaos Demons would also be able to field him though. I certainly think that Chaos Knights would make sense given that they're great big mechanical Chaos Constructs, plus Chaos Demons makes a lot of sense as well as he is one, maybe sitting in a similar sort of place to Belakor, though I guess he would feel a bit different seeing as his power doesn't draw from the gods, he is his own thing. I guess my hope for him would be that he'd get the Agent of Chaos keyword and Supreme Commander, potentially able to sit at the helm of any Chaos army. I don't know whether or not that's going to be the case though, Abaddon basically had those rules when he came out in Chaos Space Marines, and then in the Arcs of Omen Detachment rules he got heavily reined in, now only sitting within Chaos Space Marines themselves. In general, he's definitely a very exciting model release, I do think that it's kind of unhelpful to release him in an enormous box set like this though, as I feel like he's going to be a very in-demand model, and a lot of Chaos players would like to pick him up. Releasing him in a very expensive big versus box though is certainly a selling point for the box, but it just means that a lot of people won't be able to get their hands on him until he releases individually. Lots of people just won't have the disposable cash to drop on a big box like this, and I feel like both halves of the army might not actually necessarily be desired by people who want the model. Say if you collect Chaos Knights or Chaos Demons, the Venom Crawler and the Obliterators might not actually be that helpful. Never mind the Loyalists, which you wouldn't field as part of a Chaos Army, unless you really are desperate to make the Dark Angels live up to the memes about their heresy. There's definitely going to be a bit of a lead time between the box set coming out and him releasing individually. Hope it's not too long. It is just a bit depressing when there's some models that have kind of already been released, but Games Workshop just hasn't released the individual set. Say, for example, the Imperial Guard, Kady, and Kazakin, which are going for crazy prices on eBay right now. Just because they've released them in a versus box set, but no one's been able to get their hands on them individually, so the second hand value skyrockets. Finally, getting onto the other half of this Chaos box, we have the Dark Angels, where new Primaris Azrael is very much the main draw here. Really quite a nice reimagination of the sculpt, I think. The old one was kind of iconic, but very much showing its age. A pretty fun miniature, holding the Sword of Secrets aloft, and they decided to keep his pet Watcher in the dark on his base, holding the Lion Helm. In game, Azrael's really quite an effective leader for the Dark Angels as well, giving out Chapter Master rerolls, generating you some CP if he's the Warlord, plus giving out a nice invul save to nearby bikes or infantry. Not at all bad to have at the heart of the battle line, and we did get a set of Leaks Primaris rules for him mainly just a bump to its wounds and attacks profile, but the Sword of Secrets got a little bit more dangerous as well, going up to Strength 7, AP-4 and Damage 3, which I think is fair enough, seeing as the other chapter masters were out fighting him pretty handily. As I mentioned for the Dark Angels, I do find the Terminator's inclusion in the box set kind of interesting. It's been very, very rare that Games Workshop put any non-Primaris models in the box set, 
but to see the Death Wing included is kind of fun. They're definitely a lot more flavourful than any other Primaris miniatures for the Dark Angels they could have put in there, and quite a good thing in game at the moment as well. Deathwing Terminators seem very, very scary again. Storm Shields and Transhuman Physiology plus Inner Circle is generally a good thing. I'd be guessing that 10th edition is going to bring a whole new wave of Primaris releases. If the Lion really is coming back, then I guess it's not impossible we might see some more Dark Angels chapter unique miniatures. If they did that, I'd be surprised if they didn't do some sort of update on, say, Primaris Deathwing Terminators or things, but I guess we'd have to wait and see on that front. I guess if we do find a whole load of people picking up the box set primarily for Vashtor, you might see a bunch of Dark Angels going cheaper online for a bit. Might be one to look out for for the Terminators or Asriel, and certainly I feel like the Intercessors aren't going to be the most desirable thing in the box, so I guess they'd be going a fair bit cheaper than normal on eBay. In any case, let me know what you think of the box. Would you be tempted to pick up this big Vashtor vs Dark Angels vs box? particularly if it was the same or upwards of £140 or $235. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. If you've enjoyed the video, then feel free to subscribe to Allspets Tactics. I generally tend to try and keep up with Games Workshop's news and releases, both rules and models. And if you'd like to check out my review of the new Primaris miniatures that came out this morning, then feel free to check out my Space Room box set review that I'll link down in the video description. Finally, if you have been enjoying all the videos on the channel quite a bit, I would just like to mention that Allspets Tactics does have a Patreon page, which is what allows me to keep on covering all the 40k news quite so regularly. Channel patrons do get a fair few advantages, seeing certain videos early, regular votes to see what sort of things come next on the channel, and automatic entry into the regular prize giveaways, with a chance to win some really big model kits each month. If any of that sounds good to you, or you'd just like to help support, the link is down in the video description. In any case, a massive thank you for listening, and I'll hope to see you guys next time.